And what I'd like to do is introduce my colleague, Paul Mellor. Paul, some of you might know, he was until about a week or so ago, a very senior journalist in technology writing for IDG. So we now have uh, somebody who's moved over to the other side. He's now working for IFE as our director for research and communication. And Paul is going to run through and chair this next session. So we've got, I think, two speakers. We're doing it slightly out of order, just as a warning to you. Um, but so that will just keep you on your edge a little bit. But I'm going to pass straight over to Paul and Paul over to the introduction. So I'll come back a bit later. Paul, is this... Uh, to being a moderator. Uh, you'll bear with me, I hope. We're running a little bit late, so we're going to uh, keep the in-between bits very short. The speakers that we have for you in this first panel come from academia and from industry. We've heard the policymaker give her speech, and I'm sure that most people in this room would be very will, will welcome the, the comments she had and the reassertion of her belief in openness and uh, in open standards. And uh, we're going to come straight to uh, an academic who is very well known on the Brussels scene, uh, Bruno van Poppelsberger. And if you excuse me a second, I'll just get my glasses out. Uh, Bruno, uh, I first came across Bruno when he was the chief economist of the European Patent Office. Uh, he moved on in 2007. He now uh, he went into the world of academia and the world of think tank friend. And now he works for the Solvay Brussels uh, School of Economics and for the Bruegel Center. Bruno is going to come and speak to us about innovation and patents, on the importance of the quality of patent, the patents in the system, and avoiding the patentability of business methods. 